Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ned Hills. All right, we're shifting gears here a little bit. I went online and I bought this hydroponics kit. Showed up in that box right there. Here in a couple seconds, I'm gonna show you guys what all I got from the company and then uh, what we're thinking about doing to set this thing up on this old uh, picnic table. It's not real sturdy uh, as far as using to sit around and eat and stuff, but hey, I think it's gonna work just fine for this. All right, so here's all the contents of the box that I got from this company. CompleteGrowing.com. They've got some really awesome uh, videos on there. Uh, the guy's pretty down to earth and uh, shows you how to put all this stuff together. I'm a total rookie at this. So what we're uh, doing is trying to put together like a salsa garden, right? I want to do the um, peppers, tomatoes um, in this set, and uh, hopefully we'll grow enough to um, consistently grow tomatoes in this thing and uh, whatever else we come up with to put together some salsa, tomato juice, whatever. At any rate, all the contents are here. You got the 10 buckets, right? And these are nice square buckets, um, which I guess is a big deal when you go to put grommets in it, stuff like that. A little bit smaller, four gallon, so you don't use as much media. Um, we're gonna use probably gravel and perlite in these starting out, do a little experimenting with that. So everything's here. Got the list of all the contents. Everything's here except for the PVC pipes. Obviously that comes in usually 10 foot sections. So that's the only other thing you really need to buy other than a place to set it up on. So what I like about this kit, uh, it's very, I mean, it's easy enough to put together, but uh, it gives you all the dimensions and everything you need to know. And he also tells you some tips here, heating the grommet, things like that, how to put it together. And on the back side of this, he shares how to line it all up, all 10 buckets in a row. Or you can do five and five, which is what we're probably going to do. All right. And we're thinking this will be under the table. Pun intended. All right. So this line right here is a small line that goes into the buckets because I've got such a distance across here. I'm probably going to, uh, not probably, I'm going to have to buy some more line this diameter. But if you were setting this up the way he recommends or shows it in his pictures a little bit closer, you would have plenty of line. So uh, that's not uh, that's not their fault. That's mine because uh, we're choosing to do it this way because we'd like to use the tabletop here for some other stuff. My wife grows a lot of stuff, starter stuff. Um, so we're just going to use the space in the middle for that. So, and, uh, that'll be our tank. You do need to buy that. You're going to have to have a tank to put the water in, to drain into. And I've got all these, uh, PVC bits. Got to thank my brother for that. He gave me all of his, uh, leftover stuff that he's had, he's had around the house. And I had a couple of things here. But I uh, sorted through all that. I think we've got everything we need to put this thing together. So, next step, I'm going to go ahead and put everything together except drilling the holes. I don't have the right size hole saw here. And uh, just kind of lay this thing out. And once I get it all put together, I'll probably show you guys what I did, tips and tricks along the way for this particular setup. And we'll just take it from there. Hey, we're finally getting back to close out this video. Um, probably been a month since I worked on it, honestly. Uh, but I've had it all put together for a while. Just 
had the table cluttered up and finally got some things cleaned up here as you can see everything's put together um, we'll just go through it all here and take it from there basically we'll run it like the water flows and see uh, see if we can cover it that way so get the water pump down in here I will probably put this up I think off of the floor maybe on top of a brick or something so that this pump intake on here right there you can see how that could get clogged up pretty quickly so I think I'm going to pull it up out of the water a couple of inches at least uh, so it doesn't pick up any sediment or anything here's the drain uh, where the water would return I put my power cord and the supply through the side and it's going to have this lid on it cover everything up so that way when it rains or whatever it's not just a big giant catch basin or um, you know get leaves and other debris blown in it try to keep that uh, those kind of things out of it all right so i did end up having enough of the uh, tubing because instead of going from here to there, I decided to see what would happen if I ran the whole tube around the edges and it turned out to uh, be enough. I was able to, to make it work. So I didn't have to buy any extra or anything like that. Everything you see here is from the kit. Um, I opted to just drill a hole in these um, just a little bit smaller than the diameter of the outside of the tube so I can turn these and get them to go kind of in a direction that I want them to go. Um, we'll have to mess with all that later. And then you can uh, see down there where the 90 degrees are sticking in with a grommet. And I ended up having to buy uh did i buy that nope i got it from my brother some of this uh one inch pvc he had it actually from a project we did for the marching band when our kids were younger so we got to reuse some old stuff there too uh one tip i would say that's very much uh it's on the paperwork but i got ahead of myself and disregarded it which i should not have done and i'll show you why on his paperwork, he tells you these grommets. Uh, drilled these holes in here with a hole saw, and then they were very tight fit. Um, so on the paperwork, he mentions using water or some sort of uh, something to lubricate the inside of the seal when you put this uh, PVC through it, and also heating it up, heating up the area with a hair dryer or something to warm it up. Well, I did uh, neither, and unfortunately it cracked that grommet. Now there's still some rubber down inside the diameter of the hole, so I'm hoping that I won't get any leaks on this one. It's the only one that did that, but uh, I think we'll be okay. If not, I'll get some roof sealant. Um, got some in a caulking gun. I'll fix that up. Um, so I did use a lot more of the one inch PVC angles just because we've got such a distance going there. But then I ran them down into this two inch pipe. You can see they just kind of pop down in there. I beveled this off instead of having it flat um, just to make sure that it would flow good in case anything got inside there it could flow through it. I don't know how big of a deal that's going to be. I just made these holes just big enough to hold the pipe so it would kind of hold them in there in place uh, without being too loose. We'll pop right in there. You can see them running all the way down through there. Looks like a maze, but all 10 buckets go into this two inch pipe. And in order to get my drop uh, so the water will flow from one end to the other, 
I just use these chains here and I can adjust that. Um, it's got a couple inches of drop. That's way more than enough um, just for water. It's gonna flow just fine. So you can see all the buckets running down in there. Uh, another thing that my brother was telling me, he's got his on his back porch at his house. And uh, hey, Cinder, didn't see you walk in there. Nice air running through the shop there. She likes sitting there. Anyway, I got the had this old chain out in the back. So I put that on there. Um, tied them all up. Oh, we got another visitor. Hey, Buck. How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Um, so that's it. We got these. We're going to put the uh, media in. And that's supposed to screen out any junk that gets in here so it doesn't get into the water system. Uh, the only thing that's left is filling it up with the rock and the perlite. Hey, I'm talking here. So, uh, got to play with the dog here in a second. Get it outside and uh, do the planting and probably something up high. Some stakes or something in the buckets to hold up the tomatoes. So, next step will be to show everyone uh, that. But for now, looks like I got to go outside and play with my little buddy. Say hi, Buck. How about say hi, Buck? All right, there we go. See y'all.